Hello! Back again from a long journey to Cornwall. Um, eight hours, nine hours in the car. Bit knackered. But um, I thought I'd do a beer review of, um, well, of a beer which is uh, basically the biggest selling beer in the UK, according to the Daily Express. I had this on draft down in Cornwall and it didn't really do anything for me. Um, I've had this beer before. Um, I actually did a taste off with this beer and St. Austell Tribute and the Tribute came out better. So, having been coming back up north from Cornwall and seeing these um, lorries along the motorway with Doom Bar on, I thought, well, better late than never, let's do it. So here I am, ready to do a review of Doom Bar. So, there is boys and girls, Sharps Doom Bar. Lovely jubbly, 4.3% ABV, and on the back side. Now, this beer, I've written down some statistics about this one, and it's quite staggering when, you, when I was reading it. I thought, Christ. Right, this is the flagship beer of Sharps, and um, this accounts for 90% of sales of what they have at Sharps and over 24, mil 24 million pints of Doom Bar was produced in 2010. The 2011 sales of this beer increased from them from, from 24 million by 22%. It's the UK's fastest growing beer three years on the trot. Bearing in mind I don't think it's produced in can. It's either on cask or in bottle. Now the cask is still brewed in Rock in Cornwall. The bottle is produced in Burton on Trent. And there is nothing in on this label that says it is produced in Burton on Trent. It just says brewed in the UK, which is a little bit naughty, I think. And I think this beer was the reason why Molson Coors spent £20 million on buying the Sharps Brewery in 2011. So, yeah. So this beer is a um, bit of a big hit with some people. So I'll read the back. Uh, it says, Doombar is inspired by its namesake, the treacherous sandbank, lo located near our home at Rock on Cornwall's North Atlantic coast. Um, and it says about serving temperature, it says chilled, which I thought, oh, hang on a minute, it's been on cask, it's about, you know, 12 degrees, and it says chilled in here, which I think is a bit of a lazy thing going on about, you know, description-wise, and it's giving you loads of tasting notes, which I'm not going to go into, food pairing-wise, and that's it. So, it's funny, because... My preconception of this beer before I had it first time was every time I used to open up um, a paper, you used to have a politician of some sort with a pint of, you know, Sharp's Doom Bar, which didn't really go down well with me without getting political. So let's crack her open, like we do. Clear bottle, sharp crown. There you go. On the neck. There's a maltness in there, and it's kind of like a, like a sweet maltness there. It's um, caramel there's definitely there. So, smells okay. So let's pour out, like we do. It comes out amber, like a creamy head there. Lots of carbonation going on. Give her a swell. Slight hint of metallicness there. Like a roastness there going on. Also getting um, like a butterscotchness coming through there to complement the caramel, I suppose. So let's top her up. That we do. Lovely gold colour. Amber, and there she is. Well, it looks a good looking pint anyway. So I'm going to go in.
it is a bit watery. Um, there's a hint of um, caramelization there. Maybe a hint of um, butterscotch. The malt's coming through. But it feels as though it's lacking something. It's, it feels as though it's just there for the sake of it. It feels as though it, it just lacks some sort of extra flavour to give it a you know an oomph. Um, and that's why, for me, it doesn't really do anything. To be honest, um, sharps do a lot of a lot more better beers than this one. And um, he has won awards, but I, I, from from my point of view. And from what my palate says, um, Christ knows how it's won a few awards. I don't know. Is it overrated? I think this beer is overrated from my point of view. You may disagree with me. You may love it. Um, like I said, I've had it on cask a couple of times. In Sussex, I had it on cask and it was okay. It was enjoyable. I've had it in Cornwall last week and I didn't really think much of it. Um... And my opinion hasn't really changed since with this. So, if you haven't tried it, tried it. It's a bit, you feel the bubbles of carbonation on your mouth. It's not for me. So, boys and girls, Sharps Doom Bar, give it a go if you haven't had it before. Thanks for watching this one. See you on my next one.